What is up guys, Carl here. Today I'm bringing you some Assassin's Creed and this will be a series on uh, how you can complete certain missions to get full synchronization. Start off with we will check out the first mission where you get uh, the first Masyaf key. And uh, yeah, let's just at this video play through and we'll see what the mission is all about. Once these guys run away, we get the mission objectives. It's at the Jerbatan Cistern, or however you want to pronounce it. It's the first key, and uh, to get full synchronization, you uh, have to stay hidden all the time. To start off with, we get some uh, basic exercise on uh, how this map is built. So you have the ground floor with... Um, the enemies and uh, these bars that you can jump jump on to stay hidden. So start off with um, going on the right side here. You can uh, try different routes but this one is probably the fastest. And be down here and I'm not picking up any any chests or uh, doing things like that. I'm just running through the main storyline of the quest. So there's the first captain with uh, the first locked door. So we have to take him out. Switch to uh, your throwing knives or your crossbow. I'm going to use the crossbow, which you shoot as well. It's an awesome weapon. Just take out the first guy and uh, move up here. And take the captain out. You don't uh, have to run up to him to pick up the key. You just have to kill him. So once he's down, jump over to this bar and... Uh, Use your hook blade to get over to the other side. Be sure to let that patrol pass and then you can jump over on this side. Don't do as I did. Jump to the side there. Just jump uh, on top of all those all those planks and you should be good. Run to the gate and open it. And uh, this room is empty so just uh, run down into the water and up these boxes, barrels and reach the next checkpoint. In this area you will have to do pretty much the same. Use the crossbow and the throwing knives to take them out. So just jump on these bars. You have the first guy to the left there. You want to take him out. So be sure to lock on him. Use your throwing knives or uh, crossbow to take him out. And lock on this guy as well. Lock on, take him out and uh, if you do it when he's over there he will be hidden from the guy patrolling on the other side of the water. And uh, every time you enter a new area it seems to uh, reset your equipment so put up your uh, throwing knives and your crossbow. And just jump uh, run up here you will find uh, one guy walking over here, so just take him out with a knife. Or you can stab him if you want. There's one guy up here. Stab or throw a knife. You don't have to kill uh, that many people in this map, so you have a lot of ammunition for it. Here's one uh, guy with a spear walking over there. You might have seen his uh, the red shadow from him. I'm just waiting for him to move up. There you can see him. And use your crossbow to take the guard out. Again, you don't have to walk up to him to get the key. You just have to kill him. So once he's dead, run down one floor and jump towards the door. You will not take any considerable damage. And you are done with this area. The next area, you will have people up to the front by that gate. But you don't have to go through the gate, so... Just jump up here and get up on the bars, jump to the other side and you have reached the next checkpoint. This is the last area, with uh, that's the captain over there. He will be with those two guards in the middle, so we want to take him out. And again, be sure to uh, check your uh, weapons because it resets. Hook blade to get over to the middle, or you could have just swing to the side if you want. 
jump over to that small bar and climb up. They can't see you once you're on top of the bars. So you want to use your hook blade again to get to the middle. And there you can see the captain walking around. So you just eagle sends him and you'll get a target marker over him. Get a lock on. Now I'm locked on to one of the guards because I can't see the captain. Just wait for him to get up. You could use a uh, bomb to distract the other two guards. But you are pretty much hidden so... Kill him and those foolish guards won't be any wiser. Once he's dead... You can just jump over here and uh, move up to the side, jump down and go up this wall. So again we want to stay, uh, stay hidden so we don't want to walk around on the ground because we want to get full synchronization. Right here we want to use either that side swing, don't do like that, you should uh, land on the bar and jump to the right side. But that one worked as well, because there weren't any guys around. And here we are in the last area. Use your eagle sense, turn a bit to the right, and there you see the door. Quick and easy. Just jump into the water and interact with the door to open it. And there are treasure chests in the room we just came from. So uh, while you're looking for the doors, you can uh, walk around and pick up. There's probably about four chests or so that you can pick up and get some money and other stuff. So here we have the first key. Just walk up and interact. And there you have it. So that was the first tomb or uh, whatever you want to call this little place. And uh, we got full synchronization and the first key. So I hope you liked this short little tutorial. And I will see you next time.